Hi and welcome to this lesson on finding the equation of a line. What we mean by that is, is that they are going to give us information regarding a certain line and we must find the function formula. Now we know for a straight line the function formula that we looked at was fx is equal to ax plus b where a and b were the parameters where a was the gradient in other words the direction and B was the y-intercept, in other words, the uh, position. Okay, uh, and there is going to be two different uh, approaches to this. But before I get that, get there, let me just give you a very, very important remark that you must highlight somewhere and never forget it. Okay, because it's going to solve so many problems for you when you have one parameter left to solve all you need to do is substitute any point on the curve into f of x in other words into the y value we substitute the y coordinate of that point and into the x value x uh, uh, will substitute the x value of that curve uh, that point Okay, now it might seem a little bit whatever, okay, but this is very, very important, and you'll see that is exactly what the main idea that we are going to use. Okay, first of all, we are going to find no matter what information they ga give us, we are going to find the gradient first. Once we have the gradient, we'll use this idea to find the B value because if we have A I've got one parameter left to solve if I have one parameter left to solve all I need to do is substitute any point on the curve into my function where my A is already found okay so there's one of two things that can happen either they can give you the gradient directly or indirectly what do I mean by they give you the gradient indirectly well they can for example say that the line you're trying to find is parallel to another line okay so if I have one line that's parallel to another line it means that they have the same direction they have the same direction which means that they have the same gradient the gradient of the one line will be equal to the gradient of another line let's look at an example find the equation of the line through the point 1 comma 1 parallel to the curve and there they give us the curve that my line is parallel to so it doesn't matter what this curve um, looks like all I need to do is find this curves gradient and I can s and that means I need to write it in the form y is equal to ax plus b at this point there's a n there's a 2 in front of the y so just divide both sides with the 2 that means it cancels on the one side and on the other side the 2 gets distributed 4x over 2 minus 1 over 2 and we find that this lines gradient is 2x or the gradient is 2 that means the equation that I'm trying to find the unknown curves equation what I already know is that my gradient is equal to 2. So what I have is that y is equal to 2x plus b. That's wonderful news because now you can see that I have only one parameter left to solve. I only have my y intercept left to solve. So I do that by substituting any point on the curve and they gave me a point. They said it passes through the point 1 comma 1 so y is 1 when x is equal to 1 as well so I replace y with 1 and I replace x with 1 and then I just solve for b now b will be equal to negative 1 when I solve it and that means y is equal to 2x minus 1 this is the equation that is parallel to that line and is passing through the point 1 comma 1 okay they might give me the in, instead of saying that my line is parallel they might tell me my line is perpendicular 
So, for example, they give me a line and they say that the line that you are looking for is perpendicular. Uh, in other words, the two lines make a 90 degree angle. When that's the case, the um, gradient that you are looking for, let's call it A1, if I multiply that with the gradient that they gave you, the perpendicular gradient, the answer you will always get for perpendicular gradients is negative 1 when I multiply those gradients. Okay, let's look at an example for that one as well. In this question, what is the equation of the line that is perpendicular to the curve y is equal to x minus 4 all divided by 2 and passes through the point 1 comma 0. Now, remember what I said that lines that are perpendicular when they are multiplied gives us an answer of negative 1. So to find the, uh, the uh, gradient of the line that we are perpendicular to we must write it in the form y is equal to ax plus b. And to do that I'm going to have to distribute the 2 and I see when I do distribute it I find y is equal to x divided by 2 is the same as a half of x minus 4 divided by 2 is just minus 2. So I find that this gradient, let's call it gradient 2, is equal to a half. That means if I take my gradient, whatever it is, and I multiply it with a half, I must get the answer negative 1. Now to get a on his own, I must multiply both sides with a 2. That's how I get rid of multiplying with a half. I can multiply with 2. And I must do that on both sides. So half times 2 gives me 1. So a times 1 is just a. And negative uh, 1 times 2 is negative 2. That means that my gradient is negative 2. Negative 2x plus b. And great stuff. We again have only one parameter left to solve, which means we can substitute any point. We substitute the point that when y is equal to 0 is when x is equal to 1. So we substitute that. And solving for b, we now find that b is then equal to uh, positive 2. So that my final equation, the equation of my line, is negative 2x plus 2. That is the equation of this line. So if they don't give me any information regarding the gradient, they must give me two points. Because to get a line, I need at least two points. And to continue from here, it's exactly the same idea. I'm going to find the gradient first. And then I use one of the two points that they gave me and substitute it to find the value of B. So how am I going to find the gradient? Well, do you remember I told you that when I draw the graph, the gradient is has a, a numerator and a denominator. And the denominator tells me how many steps I should go forward and the numerator tells me how many steps I must go up for positive and down for a negative. Okay, so what I'm going to do to find the gradient is I'm going to place the points um, in order of the x going from smallest to largest. Well, let me do an example. So in this one it says find the equation of the line through the points uh, 1 comma 3 and negative 1 comma 1 okay so I must place it first in order so that the x goes from smallest so the smallest x is negative 1 so that's the first point it will pass through the next point it will pass through is when x is equal to positive 1 3 okay now to work out my gradient my denominator tells me how many steps I must go forward. So x on the x-axis I go forward. How many steps? Well to go from negative 1 I get to 0 and then I get to positive 1. So to go from negative 1 to positive 1 I moved 2 steps. So it's 2 steps forward. 
and then for my numerator I had to go from 1 to 3 so I went two steps forward and then on my horizontal axis I use uh, on my vertical axis I went from 1 to 3 so my y value from 1 to 3 also two steps up okay and because it was up it went from 1 to 3 not from 3 to 1 it is a positive and that means my gradient is equal to 1 which means in my equation y is equal to ax plus b I will find that a is equal to 1x plus b and now we see yippee we have one parameter left to solve b so to solve for b we substitute any point so I can choose any one of these two points both of them will work if I substitute any one of them into a and b, so x, sorry, into x and y. So when y is equal to 1, when x is equal to negative 1 plus b. And then I see, okay, that will, if I solve for b, I find b is equal to 2. And so my co uh, complete equation is y is equal to 1x, can just be written as x plus b is equal to 2, y is equal to x plus 2. Okay, well, that's the way you find the equation of a line. Good luck in trying it on your own.